Greetings, everyone. Retro Indie Gamer here with yet another stream. Today, we have, right now, we have Freedom Force for the NES of the NES Light Gun. What I be can best describe it as basically a hunting game where you shoot, shoot down one of the foxes who hijacked this plane. Uh, who hijacked the plane? Gotcha. Just don't shoot any hostages. That'd be terrible. Come on out! Gotcha! Now, why were there more light gun games like this on the NES? Oops, I didn't mean to shoot the guy with the hostage. Gotcha! Yeah, here we have a light gun game that feels more like an actual game. Like, the arcade, like a lot of the arcade light gun games. Save 2. Where all my health and ammo from the first round carry over. Unfortunately. I died already, didn't I? Huh, Sun Corporation. Hijack in progress. Good luck. Coming out wherever you are. And I wonder why they why the health carries over from stage to stage. Also, another one of those games where when you die, you start over from the beginning. As you just saw. Yeah, see? They look like foxes, don't they? I know they're supposed to be masks, but they look like foxes. Okay, I'm not shooting the hostages. What's a good way to tell the hostages apart from the enemies you're supposed to shoot? The enemies that look human, the enemies are foxes. Huh. At least they refill your ammo each round. Now, if only they also refilled your health. Well, I guess it teaches you to shoot really fast so you don't lose your health. Yeah, this is a fun one. Why couldn't the light gun have more games like this? This feels like an arcade game. If this was, if, 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 it, if it was an arcade game, I think it would have done pretty well. But for all I know, it could have been. Well, the published by a company that usually publishes good games. Yeah, Sun. Yeah, Sun Software, who usually publish games. Code Breakers. Thing. Okay, I guess you're supposed to shoot the right the right letters. Okay. I'm dead, aren't I? Each day, but not, the, but not everything else. But yeah, the whole thing with the um, that was Sun Software. Some of you might remember that name if you played, say, the games, the Final Fantasy games on the Game Boy, or at least what we thought were Final Fantasy games at the time. Okay, one technically is, but the other three were not.
Okay, can I wherever you are? And don't shoot the business people. Or you have some hostages. Okay, I only got hit a couple times. Rad Rex! Yeah, this feels like so, this is supposed to be a rip off of some 80s action movie or something. Oh, really? One grenade and I lose print all my health. Oh, the light gun seems to work better here than it does in other games. I'm out of health and I wouldn't shoot. Now, yeah, now, now the Game Boy Final Fantasy game, the Sun Cover. Oh, I'll be getting to those eventually. Yeah, the Zebra's still see masks, but I think they went in their sprites in the game look more like foxes. Yeah, a bunch of foxes who hijacked a plane. That sounds like it could be a funny comedy movie. Gotcha! Gotcha! Hey! Come on out wherever you are! Gotcha! Well, sorry! Let me shoot you! Yeah, there's no reason. I don't know why I decided not to refill your health every round. That was not a good round. I guess that's one of the hostages you're supposed to, you're supposed to be saving. Hi, Jack in progress. Good luck, Red Rex. Gotcha! Okay, don't shoot the business, man. Gotcha! <laughs> this is too much fun. Now, I definitely wish I had this like on game growing up. <laughs> Cause this one's actually a lot of fun. Let's <laughs> fall out of the terminal. Gotcha. See you in hell, foxes. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to shoot the um, as my sander. Okay, I have no idea if you're supposed to do what you're supposed to do in those bonus stages. Grenade launcher? How'd I get that? Okay, don't shoot any passerbys. Let's shoot the let's shoot them, not to get on the skateboard. Just the foxes. Uh, uh, uh. Gotcha. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I like how they refill your ammo each round, but not your health! Hmm. 
I'm not gonna last up longer, am I? <laughs> what the hell is that? Okay. Come out wherever you are. <laughs> Satya. Man, imagine trying to make one if it made a game like this today. Well, this feels like a nice throwback to a, oh, sorry, a 90s action movies. For some reason, this reminds you a lot, a little bit of, of Air Force One, but that can, didn't come out until what, like mid 90s? Still a good movie, still a great movie though. <laughs> See ya in the fires of hell. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, be right on hitting these guys. Now I wonder if there are more games like this on the light on for on the NES World Light Gun. If there are, please can some, if there are, let me know. Cause I'll happily get another game if if they're like this. I'll, I'll happily get another Light Gun game if it's anything like this. Oh, I got this now. Bicycle. I wonder what that does. Bonus, 4,500 points. If only they were planning to punish my health. No one said it'd be easy. Game over. Okay, one more time. This game's a lot of fun. Hijack in progress. Yeah, but you can definitely see there are guys in masks on the... in the opening screen, but here they look more like foxes from a distance. It makes it fun. It definitely makes it kind of funny. Guys in fox masks committing doing something like this. Well, it makes it easy to determine who you're supposed to shoot and who you're not. Yeah, I definitely wish I knew about this game going up because this is one game. This is this like shooting range is one I discovered only recently. Though so, of all the games I have played, this is probably the most fun. This and Hogan's Alley. Actually, which one of those I think is better? That's actually, I think it's a draw. Between this and Hogan's Alley for my favorite light gun game. <laughs> Come out wherever you are, gotcha. See ya, foxes in hell. I probably, I probably will be a long time joining you there. Okay, don't, I'm going to make sure not to shoot hostages. 
basically anyone not wearing a mask. Don't shoot them. Don't shoot anyone who isn't wearing a mask. Which, given that Halloween is only a few days away, is not the best advice in the... Okay, I'm dead. Is it the same code? Person. I don't care. Yeah, I wish I'd give you more health. Or at least replenish your health each stage. It still would have been it still would, be, would still be challenging. Okay, one more. Yeah, another game, the one more game mentality. Another game we're playing is Radrex. Batman holding ma many hostages. <laughs> Bagmen, huh? Well, they do look like they have bags in their heads. Hide their identities. And possibly their shame in doing something like this. Gotcha. Jeez, he's like, I can only play these like a man for so long because they make your arms sore. Gotcha. Yeah, instant ways of getting game, game over. Run out of health or shoot. An... Yep, run out of health or shoot six civilians. As I'll demonstrate, I'm about to die. Just the, okay, I already I just got shot. This is one more so that the different ways you die you can get a game over in this game. So two player mode just basically this except each forward person gets their own chance to play for the stage. Okay, I'll shoot everybody I see. Let's see how long that game lasts. Mm -mm. Probably not long. I probably want to make it for the first stage like this. Just to make sure that it works the way it's supposed to. Yep, game over. Yeah, instant game over. And it just starts over again. But it's funny how it didn't take you back to the tower screen, it just started me over. Hmm. That's starting out with full everything. That's not, I'm gonna try something. This may have just took you back to the start of the stage, at any end.
I don't get, don't get enough time didn't to get the last one up to test it. I'll get up for you guys here. Nice one. Die! Die! Oh, sorry about collateral damage. Let's see. Okay. Back to the terminal. Gotcha, see you guys in the fires of hell. You know, to start the over from the game. Good to fuck. Yeah. Yes, that's what it starts the over from the beginning of the game. Interesting. How it doesn't even... Interesting how this game game over, you had to do all this again. But yet, if you accidentally shoot a bunch of hostages, it just automatically restarts the game. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, one more round. Yeah, because my arm's starting to get sore from having Outstretch his hand, outstretch his hand to shoot these these enemies. Come out wherever you are. Oh, sorry, let me do that. I like how they just fall out of the plane when you shoot them. They're like, yeah. Boom. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up the uh, runaway after this. Yeah, I just realized this is an NES game with a little bit of blood in it. That's not a common occurrence. Actually, Femi has it really is, actually. Yeah, I just realized that. Or is this supposed to be the splatter of a gun when I shoot when it shoots them? Either way, it's still interesting to see in an NES game. No self avoid those grenades. Or shoot them before they have a chance to acquire grenades. Huh, clever. They're making sure that, the, that some of the hot toads look similar to the enemy. Clever from a game design perspective. For To add a sense of challenge. That, well, that, that was pretty enforced for the NES. An awfully fun light gun game. <laughs> yeah, this one was a lot of fun. And I'd definitely like to find more games like this on NES that use the light gun. I really do. <laughs> yeah, if anyone knows what please if anyone knows what I mean, please let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to try at least try and find it at some point. Well, until next time, everyone.